All right, so Jackson, what I'm going to have you end up doing is you should have gotten done with your figurative language practice. Um, if you didn't, go back to, to that email that I sent you with that video. Um, it takes you through the figurative language practice that looks like this. You're going through, um, you're going to have four different practices that you're trying it with. You're answering this question with it. Um, you're taking into account that these are the attributes of the strong response. But again, if you are not 100% sure on that, go back to that email that I sent earlier last week. Okay? Um, the next thing that you're going to do is after you get done with the figurative language practice, you're also going to have to do a final reflection for your grade. Um, and that's going to take place right here. This is electronic final reflection. When you do that, you're going to click on it, and it's going to make you make a copy of it. I have already made a copy of it, so I'm going to go to mine, but you're going to want to hit make a copy. Okay. After you hit make a copy, it's going to open up like this. Yours up here is going to say a copy of. I want you to delete that and put your first and last name here. Okay. So make sure you do that. Stop. Pause right now if you need to on whatever it is that's happening, but I want you to put your first and last name here. That way it's done. Um, then as you kind of go through here, you're going to type in all of the green boxes. So every green box you are going to type in. So here you're going to write your name. Right here you're going to put figurative language. Sorry about that. And then right here you're going to give your grade that you gave yourself out of 10. Um, and then you're going to answer some reflections. So down here is where you're going to start typing your reflection. You're going to answer these questions. Um, make sure you're kind of reading all of this for yourself as well. And then you are going to um, make sure you have five full lines at size 14 font. Okay. Um, then there's another reflection section, like reflection two. Why is this skill important? You're going to answer these questions. And again, you're going to type here in the green box, size 14. You should have two full lines. Um, so that's what you're going to do to get your reflection and your grade for figurative language. Okay. So again, re watch this if you need to, but that's what you're going to be doing. All right. Awesome. Good luck. Please email me if you have any questions. I will be gladly, um, I will gladly help you. So, but just know that we don't have a ton of time until the end of the quarter. Okay. All right. There you go.